Hey, hello everyone. This is Mamta Mond, and today we are going to solve some self practice exercise questions seven to ten of self practice six e chapter six. Chapter name is decimals of class six of new learning composite mathematics textbook. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog mathgrade.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSC, ICC, and other state boards. Let's get started and solve some questions. And if you like this video, then please click the like button. Today we will learn and solve self practice exercise questions seven to ten self practice six e of chapter six. Chapter name is decimals. And topic is converting the decimals into fractions. Let's solve some questions. Now, question number seven. Express is a fraction in simplest form. Ten point three seven five. We can write ten point three seven five is ten plus point zero point three seven five. And zero point three seven five after <coughs> after decimal places there are three digits, so we have to divide three hundred seventy five with one thousand. One thousand is uh, three zeros. Here after decimal after decimal place there are three digits, so we have to place uh, three zeros in the denominator one thousand. Now. Divide this 375 and 1000. The common factor is 25. 25 one, 25 four, zero and 25 one. This is one two five. 25 five to one two five. So 15 divided by 40. Now it is ten. Fifteen divided by forty. Now it is five. Uh, this is five. Five three is a fifteen. Five three is a so ten three divided by eight. So ten ten point three seven five is equal to ten point uh, ten three divided by eight. Express is a fraction in the simplest form. So this is in the simplest form. Three divided by eight is in the simplest form. So our answer is ten three divided by eight. So this is ten three divided by eight. Now question number eight. Twelve point four zero eight. We can write twelve plus zero point four zero eight. Now twelve plus Uh, after decimal place, there are three digits, so we have to divide with three zeros. In one, uh, three zeros. That is one thousand. So twelve plus four hundred eight divided by one thousand. Here, after decimal places, three digits, so we have to uh, divide with one thousand. One thousand has three zeros. So twelve plus Four zero eight divided by one thousand. Uh, we have to divide with uh, with eight. Eight one ja eight two eight two ja sixteen four eight five ja forty. One hundred twenty five multiplied with eight is one thousand. One thousand. That is one thousand divided by eight is one two. Zero eight two ja sixteen. This is four eight five ja forty. So one hundred twenty five. This is one hundred twenty five. And four zero eight divided by eight. Four zero eight divided by eight. Four zero eight divided by eight is eight five ja forty. Then eight one ja eight. So it is fifty one. Twelve plus fifty one divided by one hundred twenty five. 
So ten point three seven five is equal to ten three divided by eight. Ten three divided by eight and twelve point four zero eight is twelve fifty one divided by one hundred twenty five. Now question number nine twenty point one twenty point zero one eight. We can write twenty plus zero point zero one eight. That is twenty plus zero point zero one eight. After decimal places, there are three digits, so we have to divide eighteen divided by three zero one with three zero. That is one thousand. After decimal places, after decimal place, there are three digits zero one eight. There are three digits, so we have to divide eighteen with one thousand. One thousand has three zeros. So twenty plus and this uh, this. This is divisible by divided by two. Two nine ja eighteen and two five ja ten. Nine divided by five hundred and nine divided by five hundred. This is in the simplest form. So answer is twenty nine divided by five hundred. Now question number ten sixteen point three two five sixteen plus Zero point three two five, sixteen plus, and after decimal place there are three digits, so we have to divide three hundred twenty five with one thousand. One thousand has three zeros because three uh, after decimal place there are three digits, so we have to divide three hundred twenty five with one thousand. One thousand has three zeros, so sixteen plus three hundred twenty five divided by one hundred twenty one thousand. Now it is uh, one five mm -hmm. twenty five twenty five four ja hundred and this is zero one thousand divided by twenty five twenty five four ja hundred and this is zero so this is forty and three hundred twenty five divided by twenty five. Three hundred twenty-five divided by twenty-five. Twenty-five point zero twenty-five. Thirty-two minus twenty-five is seven. Seventy-five. Twenty-five three zero seventy-five. So answer is thirteen. So this is three hundred twenty-five. It divided by twenty-five is thirteen. Now sixteen plus thirteen divided by forty. Now this is sixteen thirteen divided by forty, and this is in the simplest form. So twenty point zero one eight is twenty nine divided by five hundred. This is five hundred. Twenty nine divided by five hundred and sixteen point three three two five p sixteen thirteen divided by forty. Both are in the simplest form. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any doubt, then please write in comment section, and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching, and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.